Hi coders! In previous tutorials, you saw how to use the power, direction, and duration options of the motor drive block. Recall that the power option affects the electrical power to the motors. The direction option determines whether the motor moves backwards or forwards, and the duration option determines the length of time that the robot drives. In this tutorial, we'll take a closer look at all of these features and we'll also analyze how the drive block's steering feature works. If we look closely at our robot, we will see that two motors control the rear wheels and the front wheels spin freely. All four wheels, however, can only spin clockwise or counterclockwise and cannot turn sideways as a car's front wheels would. So, in order to steer the robot, we will need to assign different power settings to each of the motors. This is done using the steering parameter. Let's review the possible options for the steering parameter and see how they affect the robot's movement. We'll start with steering equals zero. This means that the difference in power between the motors is zero. Both motors will receive the same amount of power. The result will be that the robot moves straight forward or backward. If we use a positive number for the steering parameter, it will instruct the controller to provide more power to the left motor, resulting in a right curve turn. The higher the number, the sharper the turn. Use the trail option to mark the robot's path. Notice the radius of the turn for different steering values. The higher the steering value, the smaller the radius of the turn. When we reach a steering value of 50, the right motor will stop. In this case, we will get a right curved turn that revolves around the right wheel, creating a point turn. You can see that the center of the curve is the right wheel. When the value of steering exceeds 50, the right motor will change direction, pushing the right side of the robot backwards. The closer the steering is to 100, the faster the right motor will turn backwards. When steering is set to the maximum possible value of 100, the right motor will turn as fast as the left motor, moving the robot in a screw-like turn around the center of the robot's rear axle. If we set the steering value to below zero and decrease the value to minus 100, the same behavior will occur only on the left motor. This will result in the various turns to the left. To sum up, with the steering parameter, we can cause the robot to make different types of turns. These turns are based on the differences in the power given to each side of the robot. When the steering parameter is given a value of 100 or minus 100, the turn has a turn radius of 0 and is thus the sharpest turn possible. When the value is 0, the turn radius is infinity, meaning that the robot drives straight. In the case of a steering value of 50, the turn radius will be equal to half the distance between the two rear wheels. It is important to stress that there is no such thing as a good way to turn or the best turn. Each turn can be suitable for a different situation. Try all sorts of steering values to master all the turn types, as each can become useful. See you soon.